So we're still working on vectors in R2 and in R3, and we're going to find the equation of a plane. Now, in the first part, the previous video, we looked at how to find the equation of a plane if I'm given a point and a normal vector. Now we're going to look at that same concept, but look at what happens if I'm given three points. But just in the previous one, we saw if I've got a point P0, which is X0, Y0, and Z0, and I've got a normal vector to the plane ABC, then the equation of the plane is A times X minus X0, plus B times Y minus Y0, plus C times Z minus Z0 equal to zero. That's the equation of the plane. So I need a point and I need a normal vector. Now, we're faced with the next question. I've got three points, P, Q, and R. Those three points are on the plane. I want the equation of the plane. So I'm fine with a point. I've got three of them, but I need a normal vector. So think cross product. If I've got the cross product between two vectors, that cross product gives me a vector that's normal to both of those vectors. So if I've got three points on a plane, the cross product between the vectors from any two of them, so if P, Q, and R are the points, and I've got the vector P, Q, and I've got the vector P, R, the cross product between P, Q, and P, R will give me a normal vector to the plane. So then I've got enough information. So let's look at that. PQ is the vector starting at P, ending at Q, so it's 0 minus 2, so it's minus 2. 1 minus minus 1, so it's 1 plus 1, which is 2. And 4 minus minus 2 is 4 plus 2, which is 6. There's my first vector. Vector. Just take note, these are all points. They're not vectors. I have to generate the vectors. Round brackets for point, triangle brackets for vectors. So PR, starting at P, ending in R. 2 minus 2 is 0. 1 minus minus 1 is 2, minus 5 minus minus 2, so it's minus 5, plus 2 is minus 3. So I've got two vectors. So now I already know that the cross product between these two vectors is going to be normal to the plane, because those vectors are lying flat on the plane. P, Q, and R are on the plane. So let's find this cross product. I, J, K, we've got minus 2, 2, 6, 0, 2, minus 3. So for the first component, I'm ignoring the first column in this, and I've got 2 times minus 3 is minus 6, minus 12, that gives me minus 18. All right, then I put a minus in front of it because the definition of cross product tells me to. Ignore the middle column, minus 2 times minus 3 is 6, minus 0. So that's just the 6, so I've got minus 6 because that minus comes from the definition. Now I ignore the third column, and I've got minus 2 times 2 is minus 4, minus 0 is minus 4. So now I've got the normal vector and I've got three points. Fantastic! I can find the equation. Now the question is which of those three points must I substitute? Here's the good news. It doesn't matter. Let's take a look at it. So the equation of the plane, I'm just writing that down because there's so much going on here that we know what we're doing. So that'll be a, so that this is my normal vector, so it's minus 18 times x minus, and I'm going to substitute point P in, x minus 2, minus 6, y minus, minus 1, so it's y plus 1, minus 4, z minus, minus 2, so that's plus 2 equal to 0. Running out of a bit of space here. So let's tidy that up a bit. We've got minus 18x, minus 6y, minus 4z. Got 18 minus 18 times minus 2 is 36 minus 6 is 30 minus 8 is 22. So it's plus 22. So if I take it to the right hand side, I've got minus 22. There we go. Now you can see that these are all even numbers. I can divide by common factor of 2. So I can have the equation minus 9x minus 3y minus 2z is equal to minus 11. If you don't like all the minuses, you can just multiply by minus 1. 9x plus 3y plus 2z is equal to 11. These are all three equations representing the same plane, so no worries with that. Now, 
we use point P. Let's say I didn't want to use point P. Let's say I thought, no, I'm going to use point Q. Now, you don't have to use more than one point. I'm just doing this exercise to show you you get to the same thing. Let's say we used point Q, which is 0, 1, 4. If I substitute that one in, I get minus 18, x minus 0, minus 6, y minus 1, minus 4, z minus 4 equal to 0. So I got minus 18x minus 6y minus 4z. And let's see what the constant is. I've got 0 minus, plus 6 plus 16. So I've got plus 22. So on the right hand side, it's minus 22. So we get the same equation. And that's the beauty of this. It doesn't matter which point you substitute in, you still get the same equation of the plane. So the next question, we use PQ and PR. What happens if I use two other vectors? Same points. Let's find the equation of a plane, but let's use two other vectors. Let's say we've got P, Q, R. Those are three points. Let's say we want, we use R, Q, and Q, P. We use those two vectors. Now, they're not both originating from R, but that doesn't matter. It gets us to the same thing. And that's the beauty of this. So let's look at R, Q. RQ is the vector from R to Q. So it's 0 to minus 2 gives me minus 2. R to Q, so it's 1 minus 1, which gives me 0. 4 minus minus 5 is 4 plus 5, which is 9. And let's look at QP. QP, 0 minus 2 is minus 2. 0 minus QP, so from Q to P, so I start at P. So it's 2 minus 0 is 2, minus 1 minus minus, minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2, and minus 2 minus 4 is minus 6. There we go. So I've got my two vectors. If I take their cross product, it gives me a normal vector. Now we hope the cross product is the same as the previous one. Do we? Let's see. So I've got i, j, k, minus 2, 0, 9. 2 minus 2 minus 6. Okay, so the first component, ignore the first column, 0 minus, times minus 6 is 0, minus minus 18 is plus 18. All right, put a minus in front because the definition tells me to, ignore the middle column, minus 2 times minus 6 is 12, minus 18 is minus 6. So I've got minus minus 6. The third component, ignore the third column, minus 2 times Minus 2 is 4 minus 0, so that's 4. So that's the vector 18, 6, 4. Now these are the same pre three points as the previous example. So I'm just going to look, go, turn back and let's just look at that normal vector. I had minus 18, minus 6, minus 4. They both, those are parallel. They're scalar multiples, minus of the one, the other. So they're both normal to this plane. So let's see if it gets me the same equation. Of the plane. We've now already seen if I've got the normal vector, it doesn't matter which point I substitute. So let's substitute point Q. I chose it because there's a zero and it's nice to work with zeros. So we've got 18 times x minus 0 plus 6 times y minus 1 plus 4 times z minus 4 equal to 0. So I've got 18x plus 6y plus 4z 0 minus 6 Minus 16, minus 22, so it's plus 22 on this side. And that is the same equation as we got for the previous one. So this is how you use vectors to get the equation of a plane if you've got three points on the plane.